The name is Where is UAL? It's based around the idea of a new student, particularly when we're thinking in terms of professionals. So we try to make it as visual as possible and in some ways as basic as possible. The idea of helping them to navigate around the six colleges, finding their way around London, finding out what's at each library and the idea of embedding the, sing the six colleges of a single service. So it's a ball game. We've got two start points because we thought that it was too difficult and too crowded if we had everyone starting at one. So we've got a group, one group would start here and one group would start down here. There isn't actually an end point, so it's thinking a time limited and, the, and they just they move around the board. At the end of the game, whoever's got the most of these will be the winner. So they go round, they've got squares like roll again and that gives them another go. They've got each of these represent one of each of the individual colleges plus High Hoban. Landing on those automatically gets them an extra three counters. And then the majority of it is that these question marks represent these, these cards. And these cards can be good things or they can be bad things. The good things give them extra coins, sometimes one, sometimes two, sometimes three. The ones that get them the most extra coins are li specifically library related things like having a one-to-one -one with your librarian or finding a particular DVD of interest. And it marks out on the, um, on the card the little colourful circles show you how many coins you can take. And then there are also bad things like getting an overdue book or getting to a college and finding it's closed where we indicate that they lose, they lose a coin for that. And if in those instances, we've also included a little tip to um, help them not to repeat their mistake. <laughs> <laughs> I think that covers it really, doesn't it? Mm. Oh, the counters. Oh, oh yeah, and we, um, to kind of individualise it a little bit as well, we thought that the best to start with this in a session, we would encourage people to, um, to we just have blank bits of tags like this, and they would create their own counters to go around with, which would also be a kind of icebreaker for, particularly again, the pre-sessionals who were arrived in London new and don't know anyone so it was kind of a way of getting to know each other as well as playing the game and learning about our resources. Also we thought like it would be dead cheap so, <laughs> um, so you know like these wouldn't cost much and we could just have like photocopy, colour photocopies you know if they could be dished out at um, inductions. Yeah. And you can change the cards quite easily, you can put new ones in if something changes it's quite yeah. easy to change.